Hello, this is a quick overview of the training materials that we used um, to launch our Frog Learning Platform to our teachers today. Um, so it's quite a big deal. And we wanted positive first impressions and people to get kind of excited. So I'm just going to quickly um, showcase the uh, training material that we use. The first thing I'll show you is the website. So I built this website. Um, hopefully, this is a splash page talking about how they might work with it. I'm not sure how many people actually read that. Um, and then I'm just going to show you this menu now so you can see all the activities that we covered. So first of all, there are four parts. For example, the Crystal menu has four main sections and then the front page. So these are just YouTube videos embedded. Um, and they're on my YouTube channel if you want to go and watch them. Um, then it was everything else was done using WMV files, all the other videos and you can see that they're, they're set on autoplay um, I used, let me just so I used um, arrows with annotations on them and I used a highlighter on the mouse and a sound click for the mouse as well uh, I thought I was going to have to make the videos um, so that um, they could be used without audio because it's quite difficult getting audio onto every single machine and making sure the audio works. Those of you that are familiar with um, multi-user computers in schools will already understand this. Um, and But we eventually, we, over the holiday, we got the technicians to check out every single uh, room for audio and then one room didn't have it and people brought their own headphones for that. Um, so that worked really well and was quite important because people were focused and listening with their headphones on. Um, so that worked quite well. So overview those four parts um, booking an ICT room um, files and folders so that's managing your files and folders in general uploading single or multiple files and then a fol folder upload workspaces creating a new one um, and adding resources I think workspaces are going to be huge for frog um, and certainly something that they will develop um, it's a, an important element to the um, learning platform because it's um, a great communications device it's quick and easy to use um, it's not about glitz and glamour it's all about um, you know looking flashy or anything it's just about the content um, they're not very well organized at the moment in frog but I think they're going to work on that um, they will do because it, it is they are really good uh, profile um, changing profile picture and add a friend and they're simple activities to do so they're on their quick issue work again simple to do but important that teachers can issue work to one of their classes uh, web pages I didn't do this section particularly well um, and I, yeah, I will redo it um, one of the things I did here was just to nick um, some of Frog's resources which I used on a PDF splitter which you can do online just to split a PDF document into the pages that you want and um, and then put it in as a scroll bar um, but it didn't actually work very well for the people who used it, they didn't like it, they liked the videos uh, Frog Bricks, there's six videos here and then I've done the same thing as this with the forms and quizzes I've bottled out basically because there's so many different um, I mean, you can see from this little bar here how long this document is to show how to use all these different um, uh, bricks, etc. Um, of which there are many for um, for Frog, and then um, Frog issued training. So I also, for those people, I was a bit worried that people would want print off media. So I put all the splits of PDFs that I did and the resources that Frog give you for their day one training and their day two training um, and their intermediate training and I indexed their contents pages down the side and split them up into different important bits so that people could actually go and print these off should they want to. Um, but no one actually did that, I don't think, in the end. I think the videos were preferred because it was just simpler, yeah, you know, step by step, one video, um, go and do it, etc. And then at the end of the day, um, everyone had to fill in a self-evaluation form. This is just using Frog Forms. Um, Frog doesn't make great quizzes particularly, um, but it's uh, but this looks quite nice and it's quite good for collecting information in some ways and you, um, you can set it to quiz and mark um, things um, but it's uh, not, not the best but it's it's good and you can see here you can lay it out in the ways uh, certain ways um, anyway so what I want to show you now quickly is um, the lesson plan that everyone used links on the home page so um, this is set like this for teachers after the after today's training so they can come back and, and find a familiar space that will then they'll be able to access the thing that, is that they want to do and I can build obviously on this by making more instructional videos and um, and hopefully people will be able to go and see those and then I just send an email out saying there's something new on there so um, so with this um, I'm going to show you um, how I got them to do it on the training day which I did through um, uh, the planning tool sorry the lesson planning tool which Frog um, have 
and this is quite cool and it's quite sophisticated and takes quite a, not a lot of time to set up but you have to understand what you're doing so you have to have a couple of goes um, I think that's why some of my activities were badly ordered well, I should have made sure that they were right and, um, uh, so the level one activities there they are so log in um, access training material book a resource upload a file create a workspace and here then these are the videos that relate to them so they were they were going to book an ICT room that's one of the first things everyone did and go and click on that and the video plays automatically in a new tab and um, and then they would flick over here and follow um, follow the tutorial to go into the things that they had to do. Um, once they'd finished it, they'd double click this complete button. There was no evidence to upload or anything. Just double click this complete button and give you a traffic light system of red, green, and gold um, to say how well you did with that particular activity. Some kind of sort of assessment for learning, self-evaluation kind of approach. Um, that's all good and then you go through section two which was profile picture, a friend a friend, set an assignment to a class populated workspace and then the last one which was kind of differentiated um, activities as it were to go and choose them if you get there which um, quite a few people did, I'd say about a third of staff got up here which is great and so that's, so the level three activities were differentiated and here they are um, and this was where I ordered things wrongly. This is the first thing that they had to go and do before going and doing all of this or create a new web page. It should have been at the top. I shouldn't have put all these brick things in here, um, which is uh, very annoying. So I probably should just have these three because people went into the heading brick video and then started trying to do it in different, in like in their workspace that they created. And that was my bad. The form bricks um, wasn't a great success either um, because I didn't make videos for it because I used the, the, those written instructions I showed you earlier. These things here, and let see, you know, the, the screen is no bigger than this, so it wasn't showing very well um, to the learners. Um, and you vote with your feet, kind of thing. Well, they just couldn't achieve it because it wasn't done very well. Uploading a folder was done fine, except in one classroom, wins it wasn't installed, so they couldn't do it in that way. And then the feedback form was down on the end, um, for, so people would just double click that, and the feedback form will come up. That's pretty much it. The day was very successful, and you can read the blog post for any more information on that. Cheers.